Welcome back. UMHB, no stranger to the Stag Bowl. That's the Division Three National Championship. The nickname, of course, for what they call it. The crew has been to this game before. In fact, five times, but just two of those count on the record sheet due to NCAA violations. Six sports reporter Matt Lively is live in Canton, Ohio, where this game is being played this year with more on how the team is getting ready. Good to see you, Matt. Good evening. Chris, there are few better backdrops in all of sports in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, which is where the UMHB Crusaders will play in the Stag Bowl on Friday night. Their opponent, North Central College at Naperville, Illinois. These two are powerhouses in their own right. UMHB won in 2018, North Central College won in 2019, and the Cardinals currently own the longest active winning streak in all of college football at any level with 24 straight victories. That means that the crew is going to have to rely on their skill players like Jefferson Fritz, who is currently in the running to be named the D3 player of the year. Quarterback Kyle King, who has guided the screw team and skill player KJ Miller, who has the player of the year in his conference. They'll also rely on Tommy Bowden, a QB turn safety and special teams player who has an incredibly special day ahead of him. My little brothers at China Spring. I'm over in Waco. They play for state at 3 o'clock on Friday, so three hours before we play for a national championship. Um, so it's a big day for our family. Um, it's, I mean, pretty awesome once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can watch the full story on the Bowdens tonight at 10 during 6 News in our sports cast. Listen, this is going to be a fantastic game between two teams that have dominated in the Stag Bowl over the last few seasons. We're going to have plenty more on the countdown to Canton. Tomorrow's game gets kicked off at 6 p.m. Central, but we'll be back again tonight at 10 and, of course, tomorrow at 5 and 6 leading up to the Stag Bowl. For now, outside the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Matt Lively, 6 Sports. Yeah, Matt, the way it should be here. We've got the two of the best programs around meeting up again and they're going to play each other so it's going to be awesome okay looking forward to it all right meeting